Welcome to Side Hustle Rules. My name is Lou Reyes. Well, today we're going to be talking about nine side hustles that you can start tomorrow. And when I say tomorrow, I mean literally tomorrow. These aren't the standard side hustles that you hear all the time, you know, business coaching, or maybe you start an online store. No, it's nothing like that. These are simple side hustles that you can literally start tomorrow. If you're looking to make some extra cash, you need to do it right away. And you're thinking, I got to do something. Well, I'm glad you turned to this channel because I'll be telling you about nine side hustles you can start tomorrow. And that, my friends, that is up next right here on Side Hustle Rules. Come on. Welcome back to Side Hustle Rules. My name is Lou Reyes. Well, before the break, I said I'll be telling you about nine side hustles you can start tomorrow. And like I said in the opening, these are side hustles that you can literally start tomorrow within a week or two or maybe even as long as three weeks from now, you could be making some money. Now, here's how I'm going to present the side hustles to you. I'll tell you about each one within a 60-second block, and maybe I'll go over on a couple of them. Maybe I'll go a little bit under. But yeah, I'm going to try to keep it as condensed as possible. Check out, listen to each one of these, and maybe, maybe one of these side hustles will be for you. But let me say something else. Each side hustle I'm going to be telling you about is a side hustle either I've done or I know someone who has done the side hustle. And a couple of the people that I know who did their side hustles, these side hustles, they accidentally, or maybe I should say they purposely built these side hustles into a very nice full-time gig. So yeah, let me tell you about the nine side hustles that you can start tomorrow. We're going to start with number one, reseller. And when I say reseller specifically, what I'm saying is someone who buys an item and sells it for more than what they paid for that item. And I know people, I've got a friend, actually a former co-worker who, what he does, he has a full-time job, but what he does is on the weekends, he goes to garage sales or maybe he goes to a flea market. He buys items. He buys items and then what he does is he puts them on Craigslist or he puts them on Facebook or he puts them on eBay and he resells those items. And he's got an inventory right now of hundreds of items that he's got on those platforms. And every day he gets a little alarm on his phone that tells him how much money he made from one of the sales that he, that he got that day. It can be a nice side hustle, a nice way to make some extra cash. But you know what? There are people right now who are on YouTube who do this full time and they make thousands of dollars every single month. Dog sitter, dog walker, pet sitter, pet walker, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you can make money doing this gig and it's fairly easy to do. You print up some flyers. You pass those flyers out in your neighborhood and all of a sudden now you're getting people calling you up on the phone. I told you when I started this video, I said, hey, I know people who have done some of these or I would say pretty much all of these side gigs. And yeah, I know someone who does this. What they do is they charge a monthly subscription fee and every single month, this person, one person I'm thinking of in particular, every single month he gets a check or gets a number of checks or automatic PayPal deposits right into his account because he has a client base that he's built up over time. He's got a full-time job, and here's what he's doing. He's doing dog walking, pet sitting, and sometimes what he even does, if a person's going out of town, he'll stay in their house for the weekend, and he gets paid a nice chunk of cash just by sitting and doing pet sitting or dog walking. Tutor. And when I say tutor, yeah, it could be a tutor where you're teaching somebody, some younger person, some math, or maybe you're doing some English classes, you're teaching somebody English, or maybe what you're doing is what my guitar teacher did. What he did is he learned how to play guitar, was extremely good at it. Next thing you know, he starts teaching other people, getting paid for that. Next thing you know, he starts building up a nice client base. Next thing you know, he's got people that pay him every single month a flat fee for teaching them how to play guitar. And really, a tutor, if you've got any skill whatsoever, you can market it so easily, whether you're using one of the social media platforms like Facebook or Twitter, or maybe you advertise it on Craigslist or Fiverr or Upwork. But yeah, Tudor's a great side gig where you can make yourself some pretty good money. 
graphic designer. You know, with today's platforms that I mentioned in a previous in a previous side hustle, I mentioned Upwork and I mentioned Fiverr. With today's social media platforms, it is so easy to launch a graphic design business. But here's the trick, though. Yeah, you could or should absolutely know about graphic design, but you know what you could also do? Canva. Canva's a platform where you can go on and you can take Canva and you can use some of their some of their templates to create some really cool designs for people. So if you're somebody who just likes playing around on a computer, you like doing some design work, you're not so skilled at it, you know what? Go on Canva, use a template, or if you are skilled at it, yeah, that's great. Because what you can do is something that I did when I first started out my very first business. I walked to businesses in my neighborhood, handed them out a little card and said, I do graphic design. I got so much business, I couldn't handle it. Copywriter. There are many people who fancy themselves as a good writer. And you know what? Getting business as a copywriter isn't as hard as maybe you think. Again, Upwork or Fiverr, two incredible platforms that you can go on and you can sell your services on those platforms. But something else you can do, this is what I recommend to a lot of people. Contact people who are in social media, somebody who's got a Twitter page, a Facebook page, or maybe even a YouTube channel. Contact them. Let them know that you do some writing or that you are an expert writer. Let them know about your talent and ask them if they would consider using you as one of their freelancers. Because I'll tell you this, most people do have a freelancer that they use. Copywriter can be a really nice gig, but don't sell yourself too short when you're if you're a good copywriter. Because I'll tell you this, a good copywriter can make $50 to $100 per hour or more. And I've seen copywriters making well over $200 per hour. Personally, I wouldn't charge by the hour. I would charge by the job. Grass mower. Now, you may be thinking, grass mower, is Lou crazy? I don't think I want to do grass mowing. I don't want to push a lawnmower, but you know what? It could be a great business. So easy to do. Literally, you print up a flyer, you take that flyer, you pass it around in your neighborhood or where you want to be working, and you start waiting for that phone to ring, and you bring in the money. Now, let me tell you this. I have a coaching client, somebody I work with, great guy salesperson extraordinaire, and he's telling me about his nephew, his nephew who started out pushing a lawnmower, pushing a lawnmower, built a six-figure business within three years. Within three years, he built a six-figure business. The guy is rolling, and he started out by just pushing a lawnmower. Now, you can tell, of course, yeah, I do like scaling up a business. It's something I've always done, but you don't have to scale this business if you don't want to. But if you want to and you want to build it in a full-time business, yeah, start out small, cutting grass, and see where it goes. Baker. Yeah, baker. Somebody who bakes. Yes, it is a business where you can literally do it in your home baking. You could bake cookies. You could bake brownies. You could bake cakes. Whatever your heart desires. But you know what? I have a friend a good friend of mine who started out with her business baking cookies, going to going to bake sales, selling stuff, going to flea markets, going to farmers markets and selling food. She's even been to art galleries where you have a bunch of artists. She sells her products and she's built this business up to the point where right now she's at the bank to get a loan so she can open up a brick and mortar store in her neighborhood. Yeah, she's made some good cash, but she hustled, she worked hard. She did whatever she could to sell her product, and she knew. She knew it was something she loved, and she wasn't going to let anything stop her. Yeah, baker, don't rule it out. Sales agent. Boy, do I love this kind of gig, man. This is such a cool gig to do because literally what you do is you use your talent, your talent for communicating your sales ability, and you walk into a business or you walk into an organization and you say, hey, I'm available to sell for you. And then they pay you a commission. And sometimes what they do is they'll give you a small salary. But this is something that I did. I walked into an organization. I'm a cyclist, love cycling. I walked into a cycling organization, met with a director. I ended up being hired to sell sponsorships, commission only, but I loved it. Now, I'll tell you what's great about it is when you're working for an organization, they've already got a client base, a client base that's loyal, that loves them, that wants to support them. And when you got those clients, kind of potential customers. It's not too difficult to sell. It's not hard at all. I did it. I loved it and made some really good money doing it. 
personal trainer. And maybe what I can also throw in there when I say personal trainer is anyone who does a physical activity or instructs somebody in a physical activity. And specifically what I'm thinking about today, what I want to tell you about right now is a friend of mine who did yoga. She taught yoga classes for nonprofits. She taught yoga classes at schools. She taught yoga. She did what she calls private sessions. And over the course of, I think it was about two years, she built a very loyal following. She's extremely personable. People loved her. One day she says, Lou, I'm going to open up my own location. She did, and that turned into a gold mine, literally a gold mine, which was making six figures a year. She did it just by building up a client base. She made money right away, but she scaled that up into a nice business, which she can do for the rest of her life. Well, there you go, folks. I've just given you nine side hustles that you can start tomorrow. And again, I'm going to use that word literally because literally you can start these side hustles tomorrow and you can make some money. It really just depends on you. If you decide I need money, I want money, I better get some money. Try one of these nine side hustles that I've outlined here for you today. They're all side hustles that I believe are easy to do. They're not super technical and they're not the typical, as I said in the very beginning, you know, a lot of people will say, hey, start an online coaching business, which is a cool business, or maybe you start an online store. Any of those are great businesses, but these are businesses that you can start right away if you need money. So consider starting one of these businesses. Now, something else to consider, I do have a free side hustle starter kit. You can get that kit just by clicking on the link in the description box. Well, that's all I got for you today, folks. I hope one of these is a side hustle that you will consider, a side hustle that you'll do to make yourself some extra cash. Have a great day, everybody. Come on.